He's one of our neighbors. Doing the introduction tonight, I'm Louise McKay with Louise McKay Art. And welcome to our Rock and Pour collaboration, I'm introducing you to the neighbors, and also our topic for tonight is resining. So, let's give these guys a push and get them up the hill. I'll be kicking off in a minute, I'll be followed by Lori Houston Art and then Angela Bliss Art at seven. All right, let's get this thing started. All right, everyone, before we go too far, this second creation here is the video I intended to show you and almost had it all but in the can when I deleted the video by mistake. So fortunately, I had my very first creation that I did a couple days before, and that is this one. And I still had the video process. So I'm going to show you this video process and I will voice over a lot of it, explaining a lot of my learnings as I go. Everyone, it's Louise with Louise McCart, and welcome to my channel. And tonight, for the Thursday Night Rock and Pour, we have challenged ourselves with resining. Now, I've resined plenty of pieces before, um, but I wanted to take this challenge to another level for me because this is something I've wanted to do. I just have never had the impetus to do it. So I'm going to do this little baby cutting board. I was at Ikea a few weeks ago, and I picked up a bunch of Lazy Susans and a couple big cutting boards and a couple of these little guys. So I figured this is the perfect opportunity to try here. So what I have, I'm going to be mixing up, and I don't even know how much I need, but I'm going to go with 60 mils for this section right here. And I'm going to use some of this Macaw Green, Blue Green, and this actually was a, a gift from Lori, from Lori Houston Art. Thank you for that. And I'm going to do Tidal Wave. And I might mix in some of this Thalo Blue Green with it. I don't know yet. And then I got this White Waves from KS Resin. I'm going to try for the waves. And yes, you guessed it. I'm going to try to do a beach wave kind of thing going in this direction like you've probably seen before. So let me go ahead and get started with mixing the resin and I'll be back in a second. So just, I'll be skip cutting ahead here as we go, but I'm using this resin from KS and I'm using this one first, followed up with this one. I'll be mixing it together at equal ra ratios, one to one for four minutes. All right, we're gonna go with two, two ounces roughly. So it's 60 mils, I'm gonna measure this out. I'm gonna have to go off camera so I can see in the light. So here's part A, I'm gonna add first. So I'm gonna skip through this since you can't see what I'm doing, but basically I am measuring 30 mil of the resin and then 30 mil of the hardener, and I'll be back when I get ready to stir it up. So now I'm gonna to go to 60 with part B. Okay, that's pretty close. You wanna be as close as you can. I don't know if you can see, I'm at 60. Of course, I'm tilting to you. And now I'm gonna start the timer. Alexa, set timer to four minutes. Four minutes, starting now. So here we're gonna go mix. I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna mix for four minutes. As I'm mixing, I'm gonna scrape the sides and the bottom. I'm gonna try to not whip it. I had this sitting out outside and it's a pretty warm day. It's like 75 right now outside. And it's mixing up pretty nicely. Normally I would uh, put the mixture in a heat bath first. And I uh, don't have any mask on today because I need to be able to talk and I have the windows and the doors open, so I feel pretty comfortable. I don't even smell anything. This KS resin is uh, VOC free, but some people have sensitivity. I don't seem to. So mix, mix, mix. I'll probably skip ahead. Yes, so instead of skipping it all out, I'm just gonna go on ultra fast speed so when you're mixing this up, you want to make sure to keep the stick in the cup. You want to scrape the sides and you want to scrape the stick every so often. You want to keep the stick at the bottom as much as possible because that helps prevent 
introducing air bubbles into the cup. But I think we're good. I see no wisps. And I don't want to put it in there too many times and get more air bubbles. So I basically have two ounces here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to have three colors. So I have three sticks, four colors, because I'm going to have one color be a divider. You'll see. So there's my three cups. <clears throat> Let's divide it out. So I'm picking up the paste as I divide out the resin into the different cups. And the first cup is going to be intended for the blue, and the second one there for the turquoise, and the cup on your right will be for the white. What you don't hear me saying here is I'm very uncertain as to how much to put in each cup, although instinct's telling me to put more in the dark blue, second more in the turquoise, and the least amount in the white. But I've learned a lot about how much to add, and this totally is about twice as much as what I really need for the entire creation. And I'm going to hold out a little bit of white clear as a strip between the wave and the water. Okay, I'm going to stop with this. Okay, and I'm going to move quickly now. So I'm going to set that aside. Now, I'm going to... So f five or so percent of the mixture should be, I'm not going to put in that much, definite novice here. I know I've seen YouTube videos and a lot of the experts, they say five to 10%, but no more because what happens is, oh, I've got plenty here. Okay, good. What happens is if you put too much color, oh, that's gorgeous. If you put it too much color in, you're gonna end up curing too quickly. Lord knows I don't wanna to cure too quickly because I need my time. It does not seem like enough. In the interest of time, I'm going to cut out some of the mixing here. Oh, these are beautiful colors. Oh, my Lord. I don't think I need that of the blue. Oh, my Lord. Look at this. Okay, so that's that. Now the white. All right, not sure how much to add again. Yeah, it's one thing to know how much to add. It's another thing to actually have the practical feel for it. So I'm not going to need much of this because this is just going to be the waves. I may have too much pigment in there. So I'm going to interject here after having done the second one. I either didn't have enough mica powder added or the colors themselves were transparent and I didn't like the way they laid out in the end on this one. Nice thing about that one is it's fluid, so it just takes it right away. Okay. So the plan is I'm going to lay the blue up here, the turquoise down here, then I'll put a, a layer of clear and then the white. So let's just see how far this goes. So I'm going to go through extra fast here because you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking the the colors I've created, and I'm just laying them down on the cutting board, if you want to call it a cutting board. I'd hardly call it that at all. It might be a little tiny snack tray. <laughs> so yeah, spreading out the blue. One of the things you don't need to do is you don't need to cover the sides like I'm doing, because what's going to happen when you uh, heat gun it, it's all going to roll over the sides anyway. One of the things, I don't know what was wrong, but these colors were way too transparent in the end. So I don't know if I didn't have enough mica powder or if the colors themselves are just transparent by nature and they weren't going to be opaque enough for me. But in the end, I didn't like how these colors worked. The second creation, they worked much better, and I used regular paints on the second creation. And I'll have all the paints listed at the end of this video and in the description. 
So I want to interject here that I didn't by some miracle just know how to do this. I did a lot of research on YouTube and the best YouTuber resinist I found is named Sherry Vegas and I'll have her link in the description. And now here I have that holdout clear I'm going to lay down as a strip that's going to be the buffer between the white waves that's coming next and the water. Now I've added way too much of the white waves here. I could have gone with probably a third or a quarter of what I laid down. So lesson learned on that because what happened when I heat gun it, it all blended together and I lost it and I had to work a lot to get it to go because it was too much. Also, I also learned that I didn't need to use the heat gun right off the bat. On the second one, I used a hair dryer, just a strong blow dryer to blow that white wave over the top to start with without adding the heat to it. So what it does is it spreads it without heating and activating it and it preserved it so that when I added the heat gun to it, it all became lacing and cells at the same time. But here I'm torturing it because I have way too much down so it fought me the whole way. And you can see I'm not getting any good shape on it because there's just too much. So the other lesson is, you know, use a hair dryer, don't use so much white waves, and be easier on the heat gun. So I want to also throw in here that the KS Resin white waves that I used on the second one especially was phenomenal. I just ruined it on the first one because I didn't know what I was doing. But if you want that lacing and wave effect, that's the one to use. Add a little more. This blue is pretty transparent. I knew it was that light, I would have added some of that phthalo blue to it. But hey, live and learn. So as a novice, I haven't realized that because I think these colors are transparent or I don't have enough mica powder, I'm not going to get any color on the sides. The color's just going to bleed down the sides, spill off, and leave me with nothing but mostly wood showing on the sides. Then I pulled out a straw thinking I was going to blow the white waves and that did not work at all. So I tried to fix where I blew with the straw with the heat gun, but it doesn't do anything. I just have a hole in it now that's really not repairable as far as I can figure how to do. The bottom line here, I'm going to fly through this. I try to fight the sides, but the color is just transparent and I don't care what I do, it's not going to make it show anymore because it's just going to drip off the sides. So I gave it a final torch and clean up the bottoms and then I called it done. So everyone, here's the end and the one that we just created on the left and the one I wanted to share with you on the right. And a lot of learnings here. Too much of the white waves, too much blending with the heat gun and probably not enough mica powder. So here's the one I would have wanted to share with you, and this is all I can give you. So how about uh, thumbs up? If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel. And remember, we're going to go to Lori Houston next, and I'll have her link in the description. So I really appreciate you being here, and take care, everybody.